Apparel is something that everyone cares about. Ever since we started wearing clothes, we've cared about the way we look. Looking fly or fresh is always the goal, which is why I match my glasses to my suit. I wanted to find out what it was like to be a rising star in the apparel market. I found out. My name is Aaron Dansby, and I'm a journalist trying to answer the world's most pressing questions. From doctors to authors, I reach out to professionals to get their insight for your queries. This is Ask Aaron. Yannick Albert is a quality assurance employee for an alternative sports apparel company. This company designs and manufactures apparel from jerseys all the way to hats. It works with a number of different sports that are not considered mainstream. I'm very excited to see what these sports are all about. You work for V Apparel? Uh, VII Apparel, correct. V VII. Yeah. Um, what is the significance of VII? So VII in Roman numerals is the number seven, right? Mm -hmm. Seven. Seven players on the ultimate field. This kind of started as an ultimate apparel company. So I can see around there are uh, what looks like disc golf discs as well. Correct. We just started branching out into disc golf. So mm -hmm. that's a very new venture for us, but we're super excited to be paired up with Prodigy Discs and be selling their awesome plastic with our logo on it. There is a difference in plastic between this disc and this disc? Correct. Uh, it is a slight difference. Disc golf discs tend to be made with a more premium plastic. The premium plastic allows it to be more stable, which means that it fights the turn more. As an apparel company, what kind of things do you look for? There's a couple things we look for. Um, Quality of fabric. Does it scrunch in weird places? Is it stretchy and light enough? Does it breathe well? Here at VII, we source a green line fabric. Like so green as in the color? Green as in um, recycled. So, for so example, not necessarily green color? No, no. We do have a lot of green. It's one of our favorite colors. Green and white and black are our logo colors. But uh, yeah, yeah it's green. It's one of my favorite colors. So. Yeah, green's great. So yeah. Probably navy blue is my favorite color. You look good in navy. Thank That's you. a good color for you. Thank you. Yeah, we have to get you some jerseys on the way out, mm -hmm. some navy ones. Do you take any suggestions? I was thinking on my way over here, maybe you could go retro, get like a, a shag carpet jersey that might look kind of cool, or maybe holes in like a Swiss, Swiss cheese kind of jersey would, would be interesting. I haven't seen anything like that. You might be entering a, a new market. I'll have to bring that up with our designers. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't thought about that. The shag idea sounds great. Mm -hmm. Might be a little hot in the summertime. Yeah, you could but... do the Swiss cheese and the shag at the same time. Oh yeah. And then it would be, it would be cooler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know how those would sell, but mm -hmm. it's a fun idea. So what kinds of uh, apparel do you guys sell? Uh, yeah, the jerseys are popular. Mm -hmm. So shirt jerseys, long sleeve jerseys. We do shorts. We do um, sun hoodies. Have you ever thought about doing a, a line of suits? We haven't yet, mm -hmm. but that's a good idea. Yeah, I think I could, I could see myself wearing this logo on a suit similar to this. Would you have it in the kind of, you know, dry fit material? Potentially. Potentially. I am, we are in Virginia right now, yeah. um, and I do a lot of interviews outside. This isn't the most comfortable material to, to be wearing in 90 degree sun. Sounds great. We should definitely line that up. Be much more breathable. What about uh, even ties or cufflinks, maybe? We have started making headbands. Mm -hmm. A tie is just like a headband that goes around your neck. I don't see why we couldn't make them. Cufflinks might be harder. We'd have to source some kind of metal. So you guys don't use metal in your jerseys? No, no metal in our jerseys. Mm -hmm. I know there's conspiracy theories out there about how people, they wear aluminum hats to block out government and alien signals. Maybe in the, uh, the sun hoodies, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, something, some kind of aluminum lining mm -hmm. in them to protect you. I don't know any any apparel companies that are doing that. And there's plenty of people who believe in aliens. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in aliens? I do. What other sports do you guys sell apparel for? We do pretty much all the alternative sports. Mm -hmm. So 
Quidditch, dodgeball, spike ball. You, you said Quidditch? Yeah. Do people actually fly on brooms? Um, they run with the brooms. So no. So there's no magic involved in actual Quidditch? Uh, there's the magic in our hearts. Yeah, I've always wondered uh, what the people were doing when they were running around with brooms. I thought they were just amateurs compared to the, the more elite level who could actually fly. Yeah, it's an interesting sport to watch, mm -hmm. but yeah, there's no flying involved. You think I could uh, walk away with this interview with something like this? I am considered, I consider myself a sporty gentleman. Um, so maybe I could, could learn how to throw one of these if you gave it to me for free. It's all yours, man. Great. Yeah, take it, throw it. I'm so happy to have received this disc. I will certainly learn how to throw it next time I'm in an open field. Yannick was a wonderful person to talk to, and VII Apparel has some great products. As soon as they take a couple of my ideas into account, I'm sure their brand will go, as they say, straight to the moon. As always, I'm Aaron, and this has been Ask Aaron. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you do not send to 10 friends, your luck will change for the worse. You will never have enough milk for a bowl of cereal. You constantly feel like you need to sneeze, but cannot, and it will always take at least 10 minutes to find the TV remote. Thank you. Beer hand potions is not a fault for any change of flight. I'm in current watching this video. Aaron Dansby is not responsible for any change in milk quantities, nor the feeling of a pre-sneeze, nor hiding a TV remote. Please enjoy this video and share with friends. Thank you.